Welcome back friends, thank you for joining me. Today I am showing you how I made this card in less than 20 minutes featuring products from Hobby Lobby's seasonal um, Christmas um, crafting stuff. I have that ribbon uh, and this is a corner punch that I believe is available all year round. That is just a regular hole punch and just random papers that I found in my uh, stash. That map paper is actually from a paper pad that Hobby Lobby carries. I chose to go with that paper and I am cutting it to be four and a quarter by five and a half inches, which is the size of a standard A2 size card. And um, I am going to ink the edges with vintage photo distress ink from Tim Holtz. And the whole idea is to use that map paper as like a wrapping paper. I also thought about using newspaper, but who gets newspaper nowadays anymore? I am comparing here both ribbons that came in the spool right there, which by the way, I did not pay $3.99 for that. It was 40% off. So score. And I want to make this look like a present. So I will be adhering that ribbon uh, vertically and horizontally so it looks like you know a present that's wrapped in pretty ribbon I am using um, just regular scotch tape I think it is to adhere the back of it uh, of both ends of the ribbon and I am doing the same thing vertically right there this paper the map paper that I chose to use is not um, like heavy cardstock is actually pretty flimsy but that's okay I will make it work the paper pad was pretty inexpensive so to me it is worth it because I am going to be um, backing it with some heavier um, cardstock right now I am using a little bit of tumble glue and I chose this glue specifically because it can be found at your local um, craft store I believe Joanne carries it I am not sure if Hobby Lobby does all right, right here after this step, I am going to attempt to make my bow for the center of the present or the card front. And I chose to not speed this part up because I wanted you guys to see the struggle. I am not very good at playing with ribbon or making bows or anything like that. But I don't think that you guys get to see the real uh, process that goes behind the pretty cards that you guys see posted online. And I was having a really hard time with this ribbon. I was frustrated. I was impatient. I just wanted this to look pretty from the get-go and I just could not get it to work. So right here I was like, oh, it's almost there. I'm almost done. And then something happened and I got it undone. So here I'm trying a different approach and I don't even know how to explain those steps, but you can see it there. And oh, that just made me even more frustrated. So yeah, it took a little bit. It wasn't really that long, but I wanted you all to see the real steps behind a pretty bow, especially for me, because I am not very good at playing with ribbon, but I am not going to let that define me or stop me. I went with a very simple bow, like you see right there. Um, because I don't know how to make any other kind. I wish I knew how to make those poofy ones that have all kinds of different layers to them, but I don't know how to make those. So I tried my hardest and I made this very simple bow and I think that for my card front it just works. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the ends and I am going to glue um, the knot part of it so that it won't come undone and I had a little bit of a hard time adhering the bow part to the ribbon part on the card because I don't know it wasn't fabric glue that I was using but you know what after trying it several times which you will see here it worked so I'm trying here to make both sides of the ribbon ends be about the same size in length and I'm putting a little bit of a like weight on top of the bow to get it to adhere to the card um, the card front 
Now I am working on my tag. Um, and I wanted to make it originally two inches by three inches and I am going to use my corner punch to make those ends round or those corners round um, and the reason for that is because I did not want to use any of my other punches to make those pretty label shapes because everything I am using is from the store like you can find it at your local Hobby Lobby and I am inking the edges so that it looks sort of similar it ties in nicely with the card and I decided to distress the edges of my um, little tag using my scissors what you will find here is that it looked nice and all but it ended up being a little bit too long and it hung too far out of the bottom of the card but you'll see here that in a minute I used this specific uh, hemp cord I don't know jute I don't know what it's called but you know what it yeah you can find it at Hobby Lobby and I'm doing a very simple knot right there I don't even know what it's called loop and I ended up getting way too much like way too much of that cord and here you see that the ribbon is not getting like the bow is not getting adhered to my card and you don't hear me but I am frustrated so here I realize that my tag is too long so I am going to cut it to be um, two and a half inches instead of three so I trimmed half an inch off of that one side so I have to go back and I have to um, distress it with my scissors and I will ink it using the leftover ink that I have in my brush and now I can see that it fits just perfectly so now it's a matter of figuring out where I want to put it and first of all I am going to put a little bit of glue behind the twine so that it won't move and then I am gluing it to my card okay um, now I am cutting a little bit of the excess off of the twine and I will attempt once again to glue that bow on top of the ribbon so that it will look neatly centered okay next up I have my card base which is just a regular let's see um, I cut an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock in a half and then I scored it at four and a quarter and that gave me the perfect size card base for my panel and that is your standard A2 size card I put lots of glue right there to adhere it together so that the ribbon won't come undone and now I am taking a little bit of extra time to kind of shape the twine so that it doesn't just look um, like it's floating and I will put a little bit of weight on it in the form of that block and trim a little bit more of that excess so that it looks a little neater and that really is it that was it it took so little time to make this card and I hope that you guys um, get inspired to create something with supplies that you can find at your local craft stores all right that's it for me today I will see you guys next time bye